Hi, you guys. I'm in a dilemma. A real a real dilemma. Actually I have two dilemmas. But um so now I'm looking I'm looking for help this time. And I'm hoping that somebody out there in uh, YouTube land can help me. I'm gonna show you what I got. I got this new thing. I got this here die this die. See, it makes this here little, it's a Sizzix die, and it makes this little, this little, like a little journal, photo book, whatever. I think they called it a passport, but I, but I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't say on the box. I just think it said it passport on the where I bought it from. Okay. And I think it's cute. It's got like the two covers. It's got the pages and it's got this binding thing. See, when you cut it, the binder, the bind looks like this. See, and it's got like little notches at the top. It's got the holes there and the, and, and the notches at the bottom, see? And then there you can see how they've got it tied together with ribbons. Well, I searched the world over, and I thought I found true love. You meant, no, that's not what I was going to say. Um, I searched on YouTube to see if I could find some help, and I come up empty-handed. So, now, on this die itself, well, let me just put this right down here. Let's see, right there. This is the die, and it's one of the extra long ones, so it's like 14 inches long this way. I had to buy, I bought the, these little plate things that go with it that are long, and I bought, this is a crease mat. It's supposed to be the cat's meow. The cat's meow, this is a crease pad. And here's the other die, that not die, the other pad thing. So, there we go, and I'm cooking on gas. Okay, now, this is where my problem arises. And this is where my problem arises. Now, I put the paper through, this is for a page, and where it's supposed to crease it, it actually cut it. Let's see. Okay, now the magic, this is where the magic is supposed to come in. So I, um... I used the crease pad instead because I did find that you're supposed to use the crease pad in place of one of these. So you're supposed to, okay, don't use this top thing, but use this crease pad instead. So I put this piece of paper on there, and here what I got was it cut on the two sides poked the two holes in there but it didn't cut the end the ends it didn't cut them now see this it's supposed to work this one here okay this one here i cut just with the um with the crease pad i'm not the crease pad just with the two plates that one there i cut and it cut out perfect but it did not show the crease so this is what the crease pad supposed to do it's supposed to show the cut it all out and show the crease and so I no right to fold it which I can fold it no problem because I know it's going to fold right on those two holes but now this is the cover right here all in all it is is just the rectangular shape and that covers just fine and then this piece, that's going to be the binding, which I just showed you, and I lost it I think somewhere. It um, It's supposed to have the holes and, oh, here it is. But then it's supposed to show the crease right where you fold, fold it, where it folds, which I can still just fold it using those holes as a guide. I can use that as a whole, it's a guide. But then there's supposed to be another crease right along this edge. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want that part fold. 
it's supposed to crease the edge here. But without doing, I guess I could use my my um, score pal kind of a thing and bone folder and make a crease on there. But it's not supposed to work that way. That's why I gave all that money for this crease pad. So that's what I need help with. If any of you know if I'm doing something wrong, see now, because see on this right here, if I put this piece of paper that's seven inches long this way and five and a half inches this way, there, if, and this is kind of a lightweight cardstock actually. Okay, then putting this crease pad on it is supposed to make it work jolly well with this. I wonder if this should go on top now. You know, I'm going to try that right now. I'm going to put that on top instead of the bottom. Let's see if that goes good. And I'm rolling it through my big kick. This big kick that I have is like the first one that came out, I think, that, um, there, I got it cut on that side. It cut the holes. It did not cut here. It cut a little bit there. It's not cutting. Now, I, I understand I could probably put shims to make that work. Okay, so that didn't work. So, and if I put the acrylic plate thing there, okay, then I'll put another sheet here on this seven inch by five and a half. I'm putting that right over there where it's supposed to cut. And then I'll put the other sheet on top. All right, now, now I'm going to zoom it again through. So I got the, the old big kick, and I'm wondering if maybe it's not supposed to work in this old big kick, but maybe I've used it so much that the, that the squisher is broke. Now that cut it all the way out. It cut it all the way out, and it could po poke the holes in there but it didn't put the crease, but it's got the line there. It's got the thing there that's supposed to make the crease, but it didn't make the crease. And so that's what the crease pad is supposed to do, but my crease pad isn't working. So that's why I wonder if any of you know the trick to getting this crease pad to work correctly, because I do want to make this I've done to buy the to, the the die to buy the two acrylic pads and to buy the crease pad. I could have probably went and bought about eighty two journals already made over to the Walmart. I don't know, but now this cuts fine here. This piece, which is going to be the cover, and all it cuts though. See, it that cuts this right here. Actually, that one didn't cut good because this one. I cut with scissors. Oh, this one did cut good. Okay, see, that one cut good. That one did cut good. But then this one doesn't have any creases or anything. And then this piece here, let me see something. Will this fit on there? No, that's too, too like narrow or something. Let's see, let me just put a piece Okay, I'm just going to put this piece on here. I, all I want is this. All I, I'll put it this way. All I want is this middle piece that's going to be the binding with the holes in it. Now, let me try that again. I just, I just don't know what to do. And I can't put all three. It won't fit in there. It's not like I can put... 
you know, because I thought maybe I got to put the crease pad and then this acrylic pad over the top of the crease pad and have the acrylic pad underneath it, but doggone it, that won't work here. Okay, see now, so this, now that cut, that cut that piece out fine. It cut the holes in there, but I don't get any creases. It's supposed to have a crease. It's got the things right there to do the crease. It's got, you know, where I can see the, I don't know if you can see them, but it's got the little, you know, where the foam, you can see and you can feel down in there. You can feel that, that, that edge that's supposed to make a crease, but it doesn't do it. And I'm wondering if, see, because I don't want to just order me a new vid kit because this one, you know, it's not broken or nothing. It's old, but it's not broken. When I look at the back, oh, where did I see that picture? Oh, not on that. I saw it on, on here. And on the back of the label from the crease pad, it shows the big shot, and it shows the big shot plus the big kick, but it's like blue and black, the Vagabond and the Big Shot Pro. It shows all of those that this should work with, compatible with, and these. But it's not working. It's not working for me, but I want it to work. So, if any of you guys have anything, I hope I got a jillion comments on this because I'm hoping that one of the jillion comments is going to make this here work because I am i know I'm an old woman and it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks, but, but I got to learn this thing. Now, if I order a new one, I'd probably order the new Big Kick, but I don't know if that'd be any different, if it would work any different. I don't know what the plus means, a Big Shot or a Big Shot Plus. I don't know what the difference is there. The Vagabond, I think that's just electric. Big Shot Pro, I don't know. I think that's got a wider platen on it, platen on it, thingy on it. And so, but I don't know the difference. So that's what I'm asking you all for your info. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Information. And so that's all I got for you today. That's, I think I'm going to just give it up and go to bed. I'm going to leave this mess on here and then check it out in the morning. I'm just going to put this right here. That's not my only trouble. I bought this one too. This is another guy I bought to make this and I can't find the directions on this one either. I can't remember what this one's called. But I won't dig into this. One. I'll complain about this one later because because I'm not sure how this one's supposed to work. Although I think it's going to make a neat looking album. This one here I just tied together sort of with cord but that looks pretty doggone funky. Looks that you know it's coming from the low rent district. I don't know. That looks nasty but then this one here I did with the same die and put a different kind of binding on it but and I like how it looks in the middle here I think that looks pretty good and I put these in here with these skewers I put these skewers to make that one but now this one I put a little glue at the end of each one of these skewers to hold them the thing is to hold them skewers in there is I don't know how to do that. And on the picture of this one, I guess I am complaining. Um, let me see. This bit, I'm reaching over here. I have a short arm. Just give it, it, it. Magnetic. <clears throat> Magnetic. Is this it? Yeah, this is the one. That's this one. I ordered this one. And I like this one. And it cuts and everything and there's no place I need any um any this is what the actual dial looks like it doesn't have any um score lines on it just cut lines 
Yeah, just cut lines. Yeah, see this one here? It does show the score lines. Shows the score line there, and it shows the score lines there. False advertising. I need false advertising. Okay, but now this one, and I can't find a video either that shows this one, how exactly it's supposed to work. But when I look at the picture, it looks like there's some kind of a dowel that runs through the end. And um, and it's got a metal top and a bottom on it. And then they um, just tied a little piece of twine on there. But, of course, it doesn't come with directions. I guess you're supposed to be born knowing how to use it. And so that one I have trouble with. So I have trouble with it. I'm having troubles. And troubles by the numbers. Troubles by the score or something like that. I don't know. But anyhow, I'm just going to leave these layout here for now. Or lay these flat so they don't get all warped. Now, and I'm just going to lay them. And I'm just going to put them there and just pretend like I don't know them for the night and then I'm going to go to bed and um, go to bed and then I'm going to I'm going to do this thing in the morning I'm beginning to believe I need a new big kick but I really don't want to spend that money jeez I don't want to spend that money on a new big kick or whatever but I'm looking forward me I'm looking forward to y'all's um your all's advice because I have gotten some seriously awesome advice from you from you and guys because you you and guys give me seriously awesome advice because you're smart and um especially you know you guys that's been doing this for like forever you know if you're doing it forever you're smarter than I am I've been doing it forever but I'm not smart I'm smart in some things. I know where the refrigerator is, but um, that's smart. But um, yeah, so anyway, if you got some information for me, if you can let me know. Can you see me now? Oh, if you can, if you can let me know that. In, um, okay, I'll let you go now. So I'm, I'm sure you want to get to bed. It's like, well, it's only 11 o'clock. It's early. And so, um, yeah, I'm usually with big sticks. No. Started reading it again. Okay, thank you. I love you guys. I love you guys a whole bunch. And um, thank you for watching this. Thank you for helping me out in advance. And um, I'll talk to you again. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check this in the morning to see if anybody gave me some responses because I'm hoping to learn something. And um, yeah, that's what I'm hoping to learn something, anything, because I hate to be out in the cold and you young people you young people you your your brains are fresh and so you the young people and you're young until I guess you're like 98 then once you turn 99 then you're old but um you young people you might have something because you're young and your brain is fresh you might be able to help me but anyhow that's that's all I do you know there I go running my mouth again okay okay love you guys in let in in just always remember um to say your prayers before you go to bed because God will answer them. all right love you guys and say howdy to your neighbor. Not now. It's 11 o'clock at night. Don't say howdy to your neighbor tonight. The neighbor may not appreciate it. But if you see the neighbor out in the yard raking leaves, just say hi. Okay. Bye-bye, love. See ya.